Hello, PE584, Kevin Kraft, and uh, welcome to week four, and I uh, hope everybody's doing well and well underway in their capstone project. Um, the prompt for this week's video response starts out with a Winston Churchill quote, and uh, I did a little bit of research, and it actually it, it said that he never said success and failure come with great interference, but rather... He was talking more about successes and failures and that they're not, they're not final. Uh, failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. And the, the second one that I really found that he might have said was success consists of going from failure to failure without the loss of enthusiasm. So I think um, what I really come away with is we have to have a little bit of enthusiasm in this program. We have to um, attack it and not worry about, um, you know, mistakes that we might have made in the paper or, or our projects or setbacks. We just got to keep keep uh, working away at this thing. It's a 16-week process to eight-week classes, so it's it's a long it's a long paper, and we have a lot of time to do that, and um, we just have to stay focused and and keep our eyes on. On, on what we're trying to get done week to week. And so um, what do I bring to the classroom? I think uh, hopefully a little bit of uh, enthusiasm. I hope you guys aren't bored watching my videos or anything like that. Hopefully uh, the interactions I have with you guys are positive and, and uh, you guys take something away from my comments. I, I certainly do from a number of people who have commented on my uh, on my work in the class in the past. Um, what do I bring? What is my potential in my research proposal? I think the potential of my research is uh, it, it's really important in Japan. The um, football here, it's a small little niche, but also that tight community, they, they really want to see the sport grow here. Uh, they're worried about the dwindling population in Japan. As, as much as they are about the, the, all this research coming out about concussions. So they want to, I think they really need to know these things. And uh, it's a really good starting point for them just to kind of like understand uh, the dynamics of what's going on here. So I don't know who's going to get a hold of, of this research. Uh, I, I can definitely show it to my coaches and they can do with it what they will. But um, I think it's important. And then uh, what do I bring to my research is I've been here for the last six years. And so I have an insight of really what Japanese culture is like that most people don't see. Because even if you just live here, you don't get to look behind the curtain of how players interact uh, when people aren't watching them. And, and uh, it's just really a unique opportunity. And I've seen how the sport is here and I have a really unique per, per, uh, perspective of it and I think I need to really do a good job of explaining that because it's not it's not something that previous research has probably looked into that much where I could just find it on a in the database um, that the way the culture is here and the way that sports are perceived here and so with my knowledge of that hopefully I can I can bring some of that into my paper. I don't, I don't know how much, but I definitely see that there's uh, a problem and there's this unique situation and that's kind of where this research all came from, as well as the hot topic of concussions. Um, number two, what are the current distractors in my life? Um, I think obviously I'm, I am a full-time coach and player and uh, just kind of... <laughs> going through the season and and um, I'm the offensive coordinator so I'm trying to stay focused on uh, the football aspect of everything and and getting all that right as well as uh, doing well in this class so just my work is the only thing I have kind of um, distracting me or preventing me from from doing the work in this class and um, I think that I've always been able to manage that in the past. Um, I care a lot about the program. I care a lot about the work that I, I put forth in the program. So I, I feel a lot of stress about 
uh, getting the work done in these classes. So I feel like I can manage it as long as I can manage my stress of the football season and getting my work done. I'll be able to manage it. And um, I think I'm, I'm motivated to finish it. So that's something that helps me manage those distractions, if you will call them distractions. Um, and number three, how do you perceive pre peak performance? And uh, what does it look like? How do I measure it? I think it's, um, I think this kind of goes back to what a lot of people were kind of saying in the class uh, in, in week one is that peak performance has to do with um, the process. And what do you do to get ready for a game? Or what do you do to get ready for this paper? And we've all been through this program. We've all had a lot of, um, uh, we, we know how to get the work done. We know how to um, do the forum posts. We know how to uh, approach the APA format. We all went through 582 and we have had our practice and we know what to do. We know how to get it done. And I think every week, if we can bring our best work to what we're doing every single week, then all of those weeks will compile into something great at the end. And we'll have something that we really feel proud about. But if we're just kind of skating through, uh, then, you know, that's not really your peak performance of what you want to show at the end of what you're able to do. So um, for me, it's more of a, uh, respecting the process of the capstone and um, really putting forth my best work every week, which uh, I feel that I am. And so um, that's how I measure it. I, I know I'm doing my best and, and um, I have nothing to feel bad about. And so I hope you guys are all doing well and uh, look forward to hearing back from you guys. All right.